How you doing? I'm Greg Callahan. I'm going to take you through my Stage 5 head cam from the EWS qualifier at the Nevis range. So, going to start it here. This was so Stage 5, but it was also Stage 1, <coughs> so it was Top Chief. And we raced it first thing in the morning and then again in the afternoon. So, it was quite good to, you know, you kind of had a better idea of where you're going, although we were quite tired by this point. So, the start of it was quite flat and uh, pumpy and pedally, which was kind of a nice ease into it, especially when it was Stage 1 earlier. Um, these corners here, they're all quite gravelly and loose, so it was hard to, uh, you know, you, can't, you had to be careful of not washing the front end too much, and then you had a few of these technical little hops, ups and over, but real key, trying to keep your speed, keep your speed, and then there's a few corners here where they're, they're quite janky, but you can, you can hit them quite hard and carry your flow, and all along here, you're kind of, you're waiting, waiting, because you know that there's some gnarly stuff coming up, so um, yeah, long here, onto the boardwalks, you get a little break here, you can kind of chill a bit because once you come off these boardwalks it gets real chunky so um you're just kind of waiting for the storm here but uh yeah down onto this slab this was real slippy and slow so you had to really be careful there and then once you got off it you really need to look up here because it was taped quite open so you could really kind of thread the needle between the gates of the tape so you're just looking ahead and trying to kind of keep as straight a rhythm as possible to carry speed because there's a lot there's a lot of holes in these rocks so it was really easy to get hung up on them um, but if you got, if you managed to miss the holes, you could really carry good speed. But yeah, really good section, like really chunky, and you could be pretty brave down here. Um, yeah, so we're getting towards the end of the really rough stuff here now. I got through it quite cleanly there, so I was pretty happy with that. And then back onto this few gravelly corners. These corners actually got quite rough by the end of the day, which was pretty cool. Like it's, you know, it's nice to ride uh, rough stuff like that. Down onto another bridge. I actually nearly overshot this one here because I didn't want to break on the little cattle grid there and then was going a bit quicker than I planned and I fully thought I was going off that one. And then into some nice swooping corners. Um, this one in particular was really rough. And a couple of fadeaways here. It was uh, tricky. You really had to kind of know what was over the back of these because this fadeaway looked like one lower down. This one was into a corner and the next one was not. So you had to just kind of remind yourself of what was what. Quick little sprint here and then um, into some real nice corners. These are more sandy, so it was good grip. You could hit them quite hard. And then this fade away, you really had to point over it in the right direction and trust that you're on the right line because you wanted to carry speed over that next flat section. And now we're kind of, we're out of the chunky stuff and down into the trail center stuff. So um, yeah, you could really make or lose a lot of time here just by doing the basics well. Um, a lot of just flat gravel corners and uh, pedaling in between. So. The better you hit the corners, the less you have to pedal, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we're over a fadeaway here. This rut, there's actually quite a big rock in that rut this time. Gave me a fright, but I managed to avoid it, which was all good. And then you're hard on the pedals here. You know it's last stage of the day, so you can really empty the tank. Um, what's left in the tank. It was quite a physical day, so um, the legs weren't as fresh as we thought, <laughs> or as they were at the start of the day. <coughs> but yeah, cool flowing section, and actually I think this trail got better over the weekend as it got ridden in because some of the gravel was kind of swept off it so there was a nice brown line you can see that was a real key right hander there because it was quite hard it faded away the rut faded away towards the end so it was quite easy to get stood up on it and you want to carry good speed because it's an uphill out of it <coughs> and then you're coming down here you could um you could nearly see the rider ahead on i think on the first run anyway on the because we're going to do a 180 and then sprint up so the, there was 20 second gaps between riders so I think this sprint is you know, probably close to 20 seconds by the time you're backing yourself. So uh, it was kind of a gauge you're looking over your shoulder to try to see how you're doing. And then drop back into the trees. This was a tricky section because it's real tight and narrow um, and quite loose. So you really had to kind of duck and dive under the trees. And you can straighten out this corner here. And then, yeah, these corners got a bit rough and they were quite washy, so you had to yeah, be careful again to not wash the front. It's kind of, there was a lot of this kind of gravel stuff during the race that, uh, yeah, it's tricky to ride. But yeah, we're down through, kind of turn pedal, turn pedal, and just ducking shoulders. So you're close to the end now, legs are burning, but you know it's nearly over, so you're just giving everything you have. And then this section now coming up was really cool. It was fast and flowy, and there was a few little doubles you could do like here, and then you could hit that right-hander quite hard. And you wanted to because you wanted to carry speed along here. You pumped along this section, you kind of wanted to pedal, but you couldn't because of stumps on the side. So how you hit that right hander really kind of determined your speed all the way down this section, really. 
um, so you knew it was quite important. <clears throat> These corners are actually quite tricky because that left, it was easy to kind of oh, hit that too fast and then break through the right-hander and get stood up. So I was kind of telling myself to break early for that one, kind of slow in, fast out approach. And then here you the last little dig up and over that. That was quite a grunty little pedal. And you're sprinting here and a few doubles. So you're kind of sprinting and jumping and then uh, into the finish. And I was actually thinking at this point, I was like, oh, this run was probably better than my first run. I thought it would have been faster, but it was actually a little bit slower. But um, good enough to get the overall win on the day. So yeah, I was happy with that. It was a really good race and a really good day out. So uh, yeah, that was my stage five. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.